Hey guys, Ash here from Escape Studios bringing you another one of our tips and tricks videos. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a manual ambient occlusion pass. You can see here I've got a finished scene. All I want to do now is create a manual ambient occlusion pass so I can comp it on top in Nuke. I do this by selecting all the elements of my geometry and creating a new render layer with them, which I'll call AO layer. With all these objects selected, I'm going to right click, assign favorite material surface shader. In the attributes for the surface shader, in the out color box, I'll click the little checkerboard. I'm going to click on the mental ray tab and type in AMB for ambient occlusion. And the option I want is the MIB amp occlusion node. Now I'm going to hit render and show you guys what it looks like to begin with. Okay, the basis is down. We just want to tidy up the path a little bit. We can do that by going into the amp occlusion node. We'll take the samples up to 32. I'm going to put my max distance down to 3. Render again, and you can see there is a much tidier version now of the ambient occlusion pass. By changing your sample spread and max distance, you can tidy up your pass. But I'm happy with that, so I'd be willing to render that out and take it into Nuke. Remember, it's always a good idea in your ambient occlusion layer as well to select your camera, go down to your environment tab, put a layer override on the background color, and put it up at bright white. Hope this has helped you guys out who are almost finishing your projects. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week and we'll have another video for you.